Hello YouTubers, my name is Nathan and this is Robot Masters. So in this video, we're going to do a quick setup of the Roomba i7. This video pertains to the Roomba S9 and for the Bravo M6 or any other Roomba that has Wi-Fi app connectivity. If you are new to setting up a robot vacuum, don't fret. It's not a very hard process, you just need a few things. A wireless network, the Roomba, the charging dock, and your smartphone. Okay, here's a quick look at how easy it is to set the robot up. Um, I just got out of packaging. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, go ahead and uh, scroll down to the description. And I have a link in the description box. But basically, I have an S9 Plus off to the right. And here's my new i7 Plus I just bought. So we'll go ahead and get this started. Uh, let's just jump on to the app here. So if you haven't already done so, install the app and create a new account through iRobot, which I have already done. And I already have two robots on this network. I have the Bravo M6 and then I have the IS uh, Roomba S9. So we'll add a robot. Um, we'll make this the, what is this, an i7 series? Okay. We have the char charging station right there. Um, we have our robot and we have our Wi-Fi password. Okay. So we have our placement. It's fine right there. It works great. No issues. So we'll click continue. Um, what are we going to call this? I'll call this Roomba i7. Just for sake of keeping it easy. Uh, and it's already found my network. Go ahead and connect to it. We'll go ahead and uh, do my password. Oops. And now it's going to be activating the robot. So it's telling me press and hold spot and home button on the robot simultaneously for two seconds, then release. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So the spot and home. See if I can get that. So if you don't hear the beep within two seconds, just go ahead and move the robot to the charger because it's an indication that the battery's dead and you just have to charge it up a bit. And it just needs a little charge. Sometimes these robots come without a charge. So the lights might be flashing white. Go ahead and wait until it's done flashing and try the home and spot button again simultaneously. The blue indicator light means that it's ready to continue on with the app process. Continue. And there we go, I found it. The i7. I really like the simple pairing process. The animations are really easy. Um, so in this scenario, if your robot doesn't have a charge, all you have to do is just put it on its charging dock wait a few minutes for it to boot up, and then you can just start this pairing process. Um, again, just make sure you fully charge the robot before you start a training run or cleaning, because you don't want to discharge the battery all the way. It could cause, cause damage. It's a cool little animation there. Kind of reminds me of Wally. -E. Uh, I believe it looks like Eva. The little arms. And it's just circling. Your robot is fully set up and ready to go. Press clean to get to work. Pretty easy. And it looks like there's a new software update. So maybe this update will have the no-go lines. We'll see. Now that's cool. Look at that. He's like just shoving stuff inside. I gotta say that is one of the coolest animations I've seen. I love that animation. See, I believe for a quality product, it's not only the software and hardware build quality, it's also the little details they implement, how well the app works. Um, it's all about the user experience and iRobot definitely has it nailed down. It's one of the best user experiences I have experience on a robot so thumbs up to irobot
I definitely like the indicator. It's cool. It turns blue, turns red, turns white. It flashes. Okay, I'm back and now it's flashing, indicating it's done. And look at that. I wish the Roomba was that quick. Of course, a cat's riding it. Look, it didn't even miss a spot. That is a perfect edge screen right there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, click the finish here. The Roomba is just finished booting up and it should be ready to go in about a minute. And of course, we get an error. I'm glad it's showing up on camera. I think it's just flashing. Maybe it's trying to do something. But if you get an error message, it will basically walk you through how to fix it. And I think it's just booting up, that's all. Nope. Robot stop flashing, that means it's done booting up. Uh, okay, let's just get back here. There we go, it's ready to go. And I'm just gonna let this guy charge up. And I'll come back and do a cleaning run and my camera's not focusing. There we go. So, we got both the i7 and S9. We're going to be doing a lots of versus videos, head-to-head, -head, and we'll see which one comes out top, so stay tuned.